85 in Fredericksburg. A lot of sunshine, but also a few little showers and storms starting to bubble up to the west. A little weather disturbance moving through the day. The reason for that, a cold front is going to come through tomorrow with gusty winds and maybe a passing shower or so, and then cooler and drier air. For the moment, the winds are fairly light. The wind direction kind of the west-northwest here, and that's, uh, you know, making the breeze blow around and making a fairly comfortable midday on this Tuesday. And as far as Doppler radar goes, there's a little area we're keeping an eye on just to the west and southwest of Hagerstown. A couple showers farther southeast of Interstate 81, but that's pretty much it. This uh, green stuff is just ground clutter in the metro area. So let's uh, kind of zoom around a little bit and show more showers starting to break out in Pennsylvania with this upper level feature. And this, well, that is the area of rain associated with Collin. And you notice uh, Ocean City right there with the sunshine. But as you look to the uh, east and southeast, you see that back edge of the clouds. This thing is flying out of the picture here. I mean, just take a look. It just pretty much exit stays right on our future cast by 530 this afternoon. We do show the possibility of a couple little showers here and there, but the main area of rain well offshore as it accelerates to the northeast will continue to get the uh, winds coming in from the northwest. And then the cold front comes through tomorrow with the chance of a couple showers. Then the winds will be rather gusty out of the west northwest. That's going to bring in drier and cooler air for uh, Thursday and Friday, even for Wednesday night, Thursday and Friday. It'll be delightful around here. Can't wait for that. In the meantime, here's our forecast for this day. Partly cloudy and warm with isolated showers and thunder. 84 degrees tonight, partly cloudy and 61. Tomorrow it'll be breezy, noticeably cooler, 76, with just a chance of a passing shower. We could have wind gusts to 30 miles per hour at times during the day tomorrow. And then for the next seven days, watch the numbers uh, stay very comfortable on Thursday and Friday. Mostly sunny skies. Temperatures, we're going to be in the range of uh, 78 to 80 degrees. Just a slight chance of a shower. In fact, I think there's probably a little better chance of a shower on Sunday rather than Saturday. Highs will be in the mid 80s, but we're uh, settling down. It seems finally to a fairly quiet, you know, June, early summer type weather pattern here. I like it, Doug. Mm -hmm. Me too. All right, let's keep it that way. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You said that you felt that as parents, you and Whitney failed. Bobby Chris. We should have been better. We could have been better. At such a young age for us both to have any and everything that we wanted it was a blessing and a curse. That was singer Bobby Brown, and he is making headlines now for more than 20 years. Now he's telling all in a new book, Every Little Step, My Story. Rich reveals new details about his rise to fame and often rocky relationship with ex-wife Wayne Houston. ABC's Robin Roberts sat down for an exclusive interview with Brown, which will air on 2020 tonight at 10 o'clock right here on ABC7. And she joins us now live with a preview of this really, really interesting interview, Robin. Oh, thank you, Jimmy. It, I, he does not hold back. Bobby Brown does not hold back, and every little step has led him to this point, and he wants to share, and he does share tonight. Absolutely. So I know that you talked about uh, so much. Can you give us a little preview, especially we heard that little clip, how, uh, how he feels about how uh, him and Whitney and their actions um, led to everything that went mm -hmm. on with their daughter as well. What was the emotion like during that part of the interview? Oh, the emotion, Jumi, was so raw at that point. I think many people have seen a preview of the special tonight and the, the tears from um, Bobby. And it was during that time when he was talking about Bobby Chris, when he was talking about um, the two days between the last time he called her and she went into that coma and she was to come to L.A. And their, their relationship was, was, was tough, was very tough, especially after Whitney passed. And they had just turned the corner a little bit. And you could just feel the, the woulda, coulda, shouldas. Um, for him to say, it's got to be hard for a parent to say, you know what, I, we know that we, we could have done and should have done more as parents. And it was very apparent it's something that weighs heavily on his heart. Absolutely. And he also admitted to you and, and in this book about abusing, you know, cocaine and marijuana and other drugs as well. Yes, he didn't hold back about that. I, I showed the picture when they were married, he and, and, and Whitney, and I said, you know, tell me about that day. And I wasn't expecting this response. And he, he did say how happy they were. And then he said, that's also the first day that I saw her using hard drugs, cocaine, and walked in on her um, before the wedding and, and saying that was the first time that he had seen her using that type of drug. But he does not shy away and he doesn't make uh, excuses or apologize or any, uh, I shouldn't say he doesn't make excuses. He's, he is about apologetic for that time in their lives. But it was something that we as the public, we thought, um, but he really uh, puts the detail behind those things that we, that we thought about them and, and how they were living their life. 
Uh, sure, and I know with this new book coming out and this kind of coming clean, uh, mm -hmm. after your interview with him, do you think that writing the book t is helping him heal from all of this? Is that something you could tell from the interview? I hope so for his sake. Uh, you know, he did, I, I had to ask him, and I did ask him, is he, is he clean? Is he still using? He said he has not used, in his word, narcotics. That's how he phrased, phrased it. He hasn't used narcotics in the last 10 years or so, but still struggles with alcohol. And um, I also speak with his wife, Alicia, and she talks about how uh, he has this demon and has to reboot, is how he puts it, and going back and, and trying to stay sober. It is a struggle, but he is very hopeful. His wife, Alicia, is expecting their third child. He has adult children, and he...